making a what? What are you making? Dad doesn't know what you're doing? I have an idea. I think you got an idea from Dad. He, he bought a snow plow for the skid loader. And you want to make a snow plow for your lawnmower. Hmm. Am I accurate? Yes. <laughs> How's that gonna work? <laughs> Is it gonna just be a straight? Or are you gonna tilt it? Ah. Here's Sanders and his Poland lawn tractor. He also made this blade for it. He's gonna start it up because it just snowed a couple inches. got maybe a couple inches of snow and Ethan's got his ski was out there. It's the first time Dakota's seen a snowmobile. Uh, it's um, right around freezing. And um, yeah, the snow is coming down. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we are gonna talk about a company that reached out to us to try their product and give a review, an honest review of it. And so here it is. You wanna talk about it? Yeah. Okay. So, um, here in the colder climates, many guys that, uh, you know, have cattle, animals or anything, and I noticed a lot of hunters too, they, uh, by a dog they uh <laughs> She's they wear some type okay of... hold on we have to run and jump first All right. okay they, they wear uh some type of boot not necessarily a shoe because you can't walk through wet weather manure and anything that's damp and wet so um there's several companies that make like an insulated a uh, thermal boot a an insulated insulated boot and uh, this company called Heisey Hesia Hesia and it's spelled H I S E A they reached out to us and said hey try our boots they uh, got us each a pair of boots so that's uh, six pair yeah and uh, We've and we've been, all been wearing them. We've all been wearing them. We've been wearing them for just a little over a month now. We haven't had really super cold weather. To try the 
temperature. Temperature wise, but we've had a lot of uh, 16, 20, 22 degree weather. And so far, we are quite happy with them. They're a very warm boot. Um, they're flexible and mine are kind of in their work clothes. But <laughs> yeah. Right this there, is the name of it. Right there. <laughs> they're in their work clothes. You said so. That's yeah, the they're name. In, they're in their, and, uh, they come in different colors. Yeah. So the guys, um, we let's got, see. We got all you black. have black. Ethan, Ethan has a camo pair. Sydney might have a gray pair. I can't remember. Yeah, and then you got a more mine, colorful pair. Mine are red. Um, what is it? red plaid? And Mackenzie has black and white plaid. And then yours has a like a handle on the side. Yours don't have that. No. Mine has. It has like a handle. Oh, oh, yours don't have that. Yeah. Hi puppy. Hey puppy. Um, and then okay, hop down. Mine has. I think they all have like this reflective tape, so it's quite something when you're at night and uh, you can see where your boots are. Where your boots are. Yeah, it so, reflects. Um, yes. Yeah. You be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we, you know, give it a review. They're warm. They're very comfortable. Um, I have one. I guess one negative strike I would say against them is that in the back here where they seam it together, I can't, where they seam it together on the inside, that rubs on the back of my foot or heel. So there's, it's like two pieces of rubber put together. Put together, which makes a, the seam is kind of, it's not flush, it bubbles out a little bit and I've checked the other boots, it's the same way. Mine doesn't. I don't think the girls do. Yours don't have that? No, I I, I just feel, felt and mine don't have that. Okay. Mine's smooth on the inside. Okay. So that's with, with this pair, and I know Sydney's got it in his pair, but that rubs sometimes on the back of your heel if you don't have like a thick sock, and that can cause a little bit of discomfort. But overall, If you're wearing a thick sock, it makes it, it better. Might, yeah. Better. So, I mean, overall, I mean, I, I, would, I would recommend them to... So they are a cheaper um, brand than you would normally pay for the more expensive ones. I don't remember what these retail at, but I'll put a link in this, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. You could take a look at it. There's they come in different um, colors, colors and variety. So yeah, it's not really shapes, is it? Well, the boot's a boot. <laughs> yeah, your foot shape, I guess. Yeah. So uh, so um, I would recommend taking a look at them. I think they would work. Um, basically for any situation and uh, so far we would you know we would buy them again yeah Sydney has had other pairs of insulated boots like this and he says by far these are the warmest ones that he's had yeah and, and I've, I've worn some other ones too and uh, I would say at least in the first month you know what we've been through that I've, I've never had an issue with my feet being cold so if you want to yeah, and I've never had a pair of insulated boots, so uh, I've always just wore my rubber knee boots, and my feet tend to get very cold if I'm out in the real cold, but I've never had cold feet yet this This year, um, yeah, this year, you've never so. said anything, uh -uh. and uh, I haven't, yeah, I've, I've been good too, because uh, my feet are not... Your feet are sensitive to cold yeah, now, Yeah, they're not as, they're not the easiest to stay warm, and... Uh, because a lot of times I was wearing just regular work work boots, work shoes, work shoes, yeah, yeah, to keep my feet warm. But uh, now with these, this this gives me another option, and uh, yeah, we're we're happy with them. We would recommend them to anybody. So so check it out. Check the link out below, and uh, if you're interested, click on it and take a look have at them for yourself. Yeah, yeah, take a look at it, and and uh, they got quite a selection of looks. Yeah, look at it snow. I know, we're uh... My right, hat's getting all snowy. Yep, we're uh... This band of snow they said was going to be coming today. They figured around 2 o'clock it would hit. It's probably about 3, a little after right yeah. now. So we've probably got an inch, a little over an inch in the last little bit. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, it's a nice snowfall and clean in the air. So Here, we got the dogs having the fun. Do you like the snow? Yeah. Well, he's a snow dog, ain't he?
<laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> he wants to play. You didn't love it, don't you? The cat doesn't really like you, Dakota. You can't play like that. So far, so good. Digging into the dirt when you're pushing. You got a well that yet? I would. A little rod in well. Because you don't yeah. want it. So you want to make it beefy because if you bend it, you're done. Same with here too. I didn't know. Probably eliminate that and just put a three inch in there. So here's the finished product. Worked out pretty good.
ready to shove some snow and see if it works. First time using the blade. So basically we're going to be using it on this tractor because it is fairly large and we're often using skid loaders with the buckets on so we probably would just keep this on the tractor when it's snowing. It's doing a good job though. 